It was St. Philip Neri that said Christian joy is a gift from God, flowing from a good conscience. In Galatians 6, verse 8, it says, Those who live only to satisfy their own nature will harvest decay and death from that nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. Every time you face an important decision, you'll likely hear from three distant voices. One is the quiet voice of God's Spirit, informing your conscience and directing you towards what is right in life. The second voice that you'll hear is a voice that is sometimes quiet and sometimes not. It's a voice of temptation. It urges you to do what's selfish, what is uh, expedient, what is harmful, or what is just plain wrong. The voice of temptation is definitely not from God. The final voice that you'll hear is your own voice, the voice that renders your decision as to which of the first two voices you will listen to. Today, you'll choose between right and wrong, between wisdom and foolishness, between rationality and impulsivity, and you'll make your decision. Listen carefully to the voice of God that is in your heart. God's voice will never let you astray. And you'll find everlasting life from that voice. Everlasting life in your day, moment by moment life, where you're more alive as you go through your day than you were at the beginning of the day. That's the joy of God. It is the gift of God. And it flows from that good conscience.